you've all alluded to this idea that while this is getting a lot of attention right now, these protests, that it's not actually all that salient to a lot of young people's vote. Can you put that in context? Because when you look at the news right now, that's maybe a hard thing to conceive of. Yeah, so I, I looked at the, uh, the the Harvard Institute of Politics. Spring and fall, they put out uh, their, the Harvard Youth Poll, where they measured the the attitudes and opinions of 18 to 29 year olds in the United States. And in their most recent poll in the spring, so it was it was conducted right at the end of March, they did this uh, cool thing where they essentially randomized 16 different issues and they gave each respondent two and said, hey, which one of these is more important? And through that, they were able to come up with 64% of the sample said that inflation was more important than other issues that it was compared to. Healthcare was 59% more important. These were like the number two, one and two, and then like housing and gun violence and jobs and corruption and protecting democracy. All these things were slightly more important than not uh, to the issue it was compared with. At second from the bottom on this list of most important issues was Israel-Palestine, and only about a third said it was more important an issue than the issue it was compared with. And the only thing lower than that, which is also an interesting, it could be a whole other conversation in and of itself, was student debt, which is a much talked about issue uh, when you talk about young people and especially Ooh. people who are out of college. Some narrative busting. Yeah, there. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so so like that's, that's one data point. And then you look at, for instance, uh, Bloomberg and Morning Consult have been doing this swing state polling uh, with – and so you have sort of a seven states uh, sample. So it's not a national poll, but it is a poll of of a large group of, of respondents across seven important states politically. And the two issues that young people, whether you were talking about 18 to 34 year olds or, uh, eight, or Generation Z, which are basically 18 to 27 right now among adults – the, the issue that they basically rated at the bottom or tied at the bottom were the Israel-Hamas conflict and the Russia-Ukraine war as issues that were most important to their vote or how, how highly they rated their importance to their vote. Whereas like the economy was 95% said it was very or somewhat important. 59% of 18 to 34-year-olds said the Israel-Hamas war was very or somewhat important to their vote. So like I want to just make it clear. People can hold multiple things – in their mind at the same time, like issues that they, they find important. But I think there's just a lot of evidence that this is a, an issue that is second to a lot of other issues and broader, broader dissatisfaction with Biden's handling of these issues that are rated as more important, uh, I think are probably a bigger reason for why we're seeing Biden's problems. Scan this QR code to go to the Apple and Spotify podcast apps to download the full 538 Politics podcast.